Welcome and thanks for joining me. We're going to show you how to process, analyse and report a 2D HSQC spectrum. I'm going to use the 1D traces, proton and carbon, already processed and shown in previous videos. As before, let's start by dragging the our HSQC dataset from the Data Browser panel and into MNOVA's spectral window. As you can see, it is automatically processed. The 1D traces are also automatically displayed in the corresponding dimension of the 2D spectrum. Now, you may want to improve the peak shape of your spectra. To do this, go to the NMR Processing tab and click on the Processing Template. In the Processing Template window, you can see all parameters applied to both dimensions, F1 and F2. On the F2 dimension, I'm going to change the apodization along T2. From the available functions, let's select sine square 90 degrees. We can also click on the zero filling and linear prediction section and change the number of data points to 2K. Finally, I'm going to apply baseline correction using our default method, Bernstein polynomial fit, with polynomial order number 3. Similarly, on the F1 dimension, I'm going to change the apodization function also to sine square 90, change the number of data points to 1k in this case, and apply the same baseline correction function. Click Apply to reprocess the spectrum, and now we can already see better peaks line shape. Moving to the Analysis tab, we should make sure that chemical shifts are properly referenced. There's a very handy tool in MNOVA called Absolute Reference. Select this tool on the top left hand corner. To do this, I'm going to use the 1D spectra already processed and referenced. Click OK, and now our HSQC cross peaks are referenced with our 1D traces. Zooming in on any area, we can easily see good alignment between 1D and 2D peaks. We may wish to improve the contours display. Just double click anywhere on the spectrum to bring up the properties window and then select 2D to change, for instance, the scaling to a smaller number or increase the number of positive contours. Apply the changes and zoom in on the region that we are interested in. Now we can do peak picking using the tools on the NMR Analysis tab. If we click on Peak Pickings options and then select Advanced, we can change any of the parameters in there. Since some of the peaks are split, we can select the Merge 2D Multiplets checkbox and also use the Interactive mode to see the values. Everything seems fine, so we can accept the parameters. Now, let's zoom in on this particular region, and we can see how for this peak, the centre is not quite right. So we can use the MNOVA Peaks tool to shift it to the centre. In this region, we can also see how one of the peaks seems to be missing. In this case, we can use the manual peak picking tool, peak by peak, and easily add it to the spectrum. Now we can report the analysis results. To do this, just resize the spectrum, go to View Parameters, and click on Report on the Parameters table to display the text box with your experimental parameters. Finally, as in our previous clips, we can save all these spectra in File Save as an MNOVA document. Or report it as a PDF file. Hope you found this useful. Look forward to seeing you next time.